When I began gardening, I ended up watering my seedlings quite frequently, which caused a lot of my plants to die. And it's not hard to water once you get used to it. For beginner gardeners, overwatering is a very common thing. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to water your seedling trays and when to water your seedling trays. Stick around, I think you'll like what I got for you. Let's get into the video. There are many problems that can come with overwatering or underwatering. Pretty much watering can determine the success of your plants or the fate of your plants. I think until you make the mistake of overwatering your plants and killing some off, you won't really look up this topic and you won't really learn. I ended up doing the same thing when I first started gardening was I overwatered my plants thinking they need a watering. So the first inch of my soil would be dry and I'd be like, oh, it's time to water. And when I did, Obviously it wasn't the right time, didn't need the watering, and there was a lot of root rot and damping off that was caused by it. The reason you bottom water your seedling trays is if you do top water, the water can splash from the soil onto your plants and it can bring up and spread harmful bacteria that can kill your plants. And second is if you do use a liquid fertilizer, they can be pretty strong. So if you do top water, it can splash onto your plants and burn your plants essentially. And then the third one is bottom watering will allow the roots to get the water more than just the leaves. And that's where your plants are going to absorb the most water. It just makes sense to bottom water and avoid all the consequences of top watering. So let's get into the signs of watering. The easiest ways to tell if your seedling trays need watering is if you do have a bigger cell, you can stick your finger a couple inches down. And if the tray is fully dry, that's a very good sign. For more developed trays, if the edges of the soil are pulling away from the cell, that means that the soil is getting dry as well. One of the worst ways to tell is if your plants are looking pretty bad and they're flopping over, then that's another way. When you buy your seed trays, the majority of the time, obviously you'll get your seed cells, which is what your dirt goes in and your seeds go in. You also get a drip tray or a flat. And this is what I'm gonna be using to put water in. So I'm gonna put a quarter of water at the bottom of this, and then I'm going to put my seed tray inside, and then I'm gonna let it sit for 20 to 30 minutes. And that's essentially how you water. Now, let's go fill our seedling trays, get some water in them. We're driving down the boulevard, cruising with the windows down, feeling like we run this town. Your song is on the radio. The one you always like, the one that always gets you psyched. We've been drinking all the cheap wine all night. Acting stupid, but it feels so right. I know that we will all be just fine, but tonight. I just want After you've waited the 20 to 30 minutes and let your seedling soaked up all the water, you can tell it's done by the weight of the tray. It's much heavier than at the beginning. And it's very important for you to dump out any of the excess water. So if you leave the tray sitting in there in the water, put under your grow lights, put in your lighting, then that's gonna cause or enable root rot. You don't want your soil to be damp at all times. So that's the reason you dump it out. And that's it. That's all it takes to water your seedling trays. The main thing to keep in mind is to not overwater your seedling trays. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you got something out of it, consider hitting that subscribe button, hitting that like button. I'll see you in the next video.